So go ahead and start the application from your desktop. Now click on the plus icon to import your pictures from the folder and click on select. After clicking select, we can see that our pictures have been imported into the library. Now here, let me just select one of the pictures, the first one. And here we can see there are two options. There is a crop option as well as an effects option. Here I can change the orientation of the picture as well as the effects of the picture. I can add filters to it that are predefined. So let me just go ahead and add a filter to this picture. There you have it. Now for the second picture, we can add another filter or you can choose to add the same filter to the rest of the pictures in the library. So click on next to go to the next screen and in this screen we can see that there are two options themes and add music. So in the theme section there are a lot of themes that have been provided by the application vendor. So I'll just go ahead and download one of these themes so that it will be easier for you to understand what I'm speaking about. track can be either long or short but it mainly depends on the theme that you have selected. In the next screen we can see that there are a lot of options. These options are basically the formats of the video that we want to export it in. So here in this first box we can change the name of the video. Here in the second option we can change the quality of the video that we would like to render it in and in the third section we can see that the video quality we have selected is mp4. Now choose your destination and then hit save when you are done. Now the video will take some time to be saved and uh, let me just skip through this and let me just go to the end of this video. So that sound means our video is now ready to be waved. Let me just open that video and uh, let's see what we have. So there you have it guys, it's easy as that and I uh, hope you have a good time with this application. Thank you.